Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably thinking, whoa, 35 minutes long, what the fuck are you doing? Well, I actually read some of your comments on my previous client tutorial because when I mentioned that I can do a face in under 45 minutes or whatever, someone commented saying they would actually love to see a whole client tutorial in real time. And I thought that was pretty interesting, so I thought I would do that in today's video. So because this look was quite basic and neutral, I didn't use any liner on the top of the bottom, didn't really do anything drastic on the eyes either. Um, it took me 35 minutes and this is what it usually takes me on a normal client as well. Um, for something more dramatic with like liner at the top and the bottom, probably takes me around 45 minutes. So because I won't be talking in the majority of the video, I'll still explain what products I'm using and what I'm doing. So first up, what I always do is grab some Garnier Micelle water just on a cotton pad and just put that all over her face just to ensure the face is clean before priming. Because Rosie said that she has slightly oily skin, I'm using the Benefit Professional Matte I think it's like the Matte Rescue Primer. It's the newer one. I love it for oily skin. I use it on myself as well. It's definitely a must have in your kit. Also, feel free to go grab a snack, maybe mute this video and put your own music on just because I have to use non-copyrighted music. So if it gets a bit boring and repetitive, then I definitely understand that. But I'll definitely be explaining what I'm doing per step. So maybe when you see me do something new, then unmute it. But otherwise, I, if I was you, I would probably mute it because I get so sick of listening to all these non-copyrighted music songs. So... Yes. So I allow 45 minutes per appointment. So when the client comes in, I straight away ask if I am allowed to take before and after photos. 99.9% .9 of them say, yes, yeah, sure. And there's like the odd person that obviously doesn't want their before photo online. And I completely understand that because I wouldn't want mine online, even though I do. But if I was a client, I'd probably be like, oh, no, thanks. But yeah. So I do that first and then I sit them down straight away and start off with the prepping of the skin. So the Garnier Micellar Water and the Primer. Obviously, I ask the client what skin type they have, whether they have dry, oily combination, if they get oily down the T-zone or specific areas. And obviously, I use the appropriate primer for that. I feel like I'm speaking so fast. The foundation I used here was the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC37. And as always, I'm buffing that all in to her face with a damp beauty blender. You saw me earlier using a buffing brush. It was just like a kabuki brush. I'm pretty sure it was by Makeup Addictions Cosmetics. I just feel so awkward buffing foundation into someone else's skin. Because I feel like you really need to put pressure in to really absorb the foundation into the skin rather than just sitting on top and I feel like a beauty blender is much gentler for that so that's why I use beauty blenders on clients I also use beauty blenders on myself but I just find myself being a little bit more rough when I use kabuki brushes on other people but that's just my personal preference that's why I like using beauty blenders so I've actually had heaps of questions asking why I don't use kabuki brushes and that is why
scream while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating I honestly don't even know what took me so long just then to do the concealer but for concealer of course I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light and just using a Makeup Addictions Cosmetics concealer brush and I'm just placing that underneath her eyes, blend it out and then I go ahead and place it on her forehead, bridge of her nose, cupid's bow and the chin. Then of course baking her concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just on that same beauty blender. Then going in and setting the rest of her face with the trusty Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. Then taking Hula by Benefit Bronzer just on my MAC 135 brush and just using that to bronze her cheeks up.
By the way, if you see like random little like splits of the footage, it's just because my camera stops recording after a certain amount of minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna have to like keep like starting and stopping. So that is why that keeps happening. Then for blush, I'm taking the Balm Hot Mama and just placing that on her cheeks with a Zoeva blush brush. Then for highlighter, I'm using my favourite at the moment, which is the MAC Soft and Gentle, and I'm using that with a Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighting brush. Then taking some more of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light to use as an eyelid primer and then I go ahead to set it just with a translucent powder. So then I'm going in with brows, I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette and I'm taking the shade Taup or Taup, I never know how to pronounce it and then I'm just using that on a Pretty Cosmetics eyebrow brush because her eyebrows are already cosmetically tattooed, I didn't really need to do much to them, I just kind of went over them because of the powder um, that had got into them from when I was setting the face, so yeah. Then I'm just taking the same concealer as before, the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm just using that to carve out her brows. Then taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, my absolute favorite um, transition shade ever. I use it on pretty much all of my clients. So I'm just running that through her crease as a transition shade.
So now I'm taking a little bit of Coco Bear, also by Makeup Geek, and I'm also running that in the crease as well, just to deepen it up a bit. And I really love like the orangey browny tones like above and in the crease. So that's what I did. By the way, the brush I'm using is just a crease brush by Makeup Addictions Cosmetics. So then I'm taking the Urban Decay Cosmetic Single Eyeshadow in Half Baked. I'm fairly sure that this is in one of the Naked palettes as well, but I just have the individual gold shade. It's my favorite ever gold shade ever, and I am hitting pan so hard as you can see. So I definitely need to buy a backup of this. I'm just using this on like a flat concealer brush. It's kind of like synthetic. I think this one's by Talia Jade. I don't think she has these brushes anymore, but Sigma has one pretty much identical. And as you can see, I'm just placing that mainly on the inner corner to her lid. And then I decided to add a little bit of glitter over top. I think I'm just using the Lime Crime one. I'll leave the color down below as I'm not 100% certain. But all I did was just spray my brush with a bit of Fix Plus. I didn't use any um, like glitter adhesive or anything just because I think Fix Plus works well as well. Um, and yeah, I just placed that mainly on the inner corners of her eyes. So now I'm taking Fudge Single Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, just on that same crease brush. Uh, I'm just basically placing that on the outer corners and then bringing it up to her crease.
Then taking fudge again on a tapered sort of brush. This one's by Zoeva. I'll leave a list down below of all the brushes I used in order. So as you can see, I'm just placing that on her lower lash line. I didn't want to put anything dark in her waterline just because she said she doesn't really suit that. She never usually wears like heavy eye makeup anyway. So I thought I'd do something really nice, light and natural looking. Then I'm taking the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter again and just placing that in the inner corners of her eyes and then on her brow bone. And then I like to intensify the Cupid's bow and the tip of the nose. Then I'm just coating her top and bottom lashes with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, obviously on a disposable mascara wand. For lashes, I use the Model Rock lashes in the style 236, and I use the Duo lash glue as well.
Then I'm just blending her false lashes with her real lashes just with that same mascara wand. And to line her lips, I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Sure Lip Liner. And then over the top, I'm using Faux Lipstick by MAC.
So usually when I finish, I just like to go over things that I think needs a little bit more of. Um, and yeah, so I just put a bit more bronzer on. And then I go ahead and put a little bit more highlighter on. Because let's be real, who doesn't like more highlighter? So this concludes the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you want to see more real-time client tutorials then obviously let me know in the comments down below. P.S. How freaking funny is Rosie? If you want, go and give her a follow on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm pretty sure her username is just Rosie Van. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.